Hey guys, so today we've reached a major milestone in the project. Now the USB section is mostly finished and we've put all that together. So we have the sound, the Mega Man demo, and the USB section which is used to with the Xbox 360 controller. So I'll show you all that. If I power on the board, you'll see that it asks for a USB device. So just to show you in this demo, I'll plug the a USB mouse instead of the Microsoft wireless receiver. And you'll see that it detects the mouse, but it won't start the game since it's it's waiting for the Microsoft wireless receiver. So if I unplug the mouse and plug the receiver in, you'll see that it detects the receiver and will start the game from the SD card as you've seen before. So here we have our demo with Mega Man. And from here I can bring the Xbox controller and power it on and as soon as it power on it's it's gonna synchronize with the receiver and it gets the first player position and from here I can actually play with the demo there we go yeah the demo as you can see the demo runs a little slow but I'm pretty sure that with some optimization we'll be able to make it run a lot faster and for now the demo is a little buggy as you can see when I change direction the sound play plays try twice and but there is another team working only on this demo and as we speak there is much more features in their demo than mine so all I have to do is work a little more on the game engine and I'll be able to to make their demo run on this console alright so that's pretty much it for this demo from now now there is not much work to do on this project I we s I still have to work a little on how the game is loaded because now it's bundled with the kernel and it's programmed into the microcontroller and I would prefer that the game would run from the SD card so I still have that to do and I have to work a little on the game engine as I like I told you so yeah, that's it for this demo and stay put for other updates.